If you've ever wanted to manifest a dream, if you've ever wanted just to be happy, I know you've heard all of the rules surrounding manifesting the dream, the rules surrounding happiness, the rules surrounding contentment, the expectations surrounding all of these things, but friend, I'm here to tell you today, there are no rules. There are no rules, there are no guidelines, there's nothing except this one thing that carries you forward. And until we learn to move forward with this, until we learn to engage with this energy, to sit in the pocket of this and take the rules and the expectation of ourselves, of other people, of the universe itself and the glory it manifests, we won't ever break through to our promised land. But the good news is, I'm gonna show you today something, something you can do that will shift this, and get you heading in the right direction. Are you on board? Let's kick into it. Hello beautiful, welcome to Elevate. I'm so thankful for you. Look at you there, full of love, full of the promise of destiny. A brighter tomorrow. Hope, forgiveness, majesty, manifested glory. It's got your name on it. Do you feel it? Hope you do. Welcome to Elevate, friend. Like I said, I'm Ben. I'm here every day talking to you about living your dreams, coming up higher, brain sciences, manifesting. It's all here. Won't you reach out? Say hi. Let's connect our energy. Won't you subscribe? Join the family. I would love to welcome you. Today, friend, might seem initially a little bit up in your face, but just bear with me, I promise you this will hold water. See, we live in a world where we are told, if you wanna be happy, these are the rules. If you wanna be content in life, this is what you've gotta go and do. If you wanna manifest a dream, this is how you make it happen. If you want a certain result, this is the formula you've got to follow so you get the result. And while all of these things are well-meaning and well-intentioned to guide us into the direction that we desire to travel in, none of it works. In fact, not only does it not work, it holds us back. It holds us anchored, pinned to where we are right now. And the incredible thing is you can have every single one of the dreams that are inside of your heart, but for you to see that made manifest, it means there's some growth for you to do. It means there's a few things to change. It means there are things inside of you now that can't go with you to the next level. This level is all about sorting that out, ironing that out. And in all the years that I've been a student of this material, in all of the results I've seen in my own life, I've never been more blessed than when I came into finally understanding, friend, that there are no freaking rules. Now that doesn't mean we should run out into the world and be irresponsible. It doesn't mean that we should be bad stewards with our energy. It doesn't excuse us from living and being and endeavoring to be the very best version of us. What I mean when I say that there are no rules is this. Rules go hand in hand with an expectation, don't they? If we have a rule, it's because we have an expectation surrounding that thing. But expectation is judgment. Expectation is judgment. And when you judge something, you label it and you say, it is this or it is that. We say, that's bad, or that's good, or that's hurtful, or that's really encouraging. Man, that is inspiring. Gee, that was savage. And we put these labels on things. The problem with labels is labels come from judgment and judgment comes from saying something is something and something is not something. And that's not the way we are supposed to live even though we grow up in a society, we function in a society, we live and breathe in a society that tells us what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's bad. But it's only the construct that is created between our ears and in the collective of a culture that makes that result so. You can look at things that were acceptable in the modern world just one or two hundred years ago. There is no way that they are acceptable now. 
In fact, some of the things that happened even in our culture, even just 50 or 100 years ago, we look at those things and we say, oh my gosh, that is, that's horrible, that's terrible, that's evil, it's, it's traumatic. And people who have been through those things go, oh my gosh, yeah, it was traumatic. Let me tell you all about the trauma. Let me get this trauma out. But if you rewind history 50 years or 100 years or 1,000 years, those things were not only not traumatic, but they were commonplace. They were accepted in society. So what changes? The construct that exists between our two ears and as a collective in society, in culture. Heck, friend, there are still cultures in the world today where it is permissible for people to get married and start their own family when they're just babies, when they're 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. Now we look at that from our standpoint and we judge that and we say, people getting married at that age, or, or you know, young people being involved with older people, that, like, that's really traumatic. But it isn't to them because that's their culture, that's the way they live, that's the construct between their two ears and as a collective culture. Now understand my heart. If you've been through something traumatic and hurtful, this is in no way to cheapen what you've been through. Hurt is real. We've all got our own stories. I've got mine. I know you've got yours. This is not about discrediting what we have been through. This is about putting some framework around it that brings perspective. Because while we are judging, we are never moving forward. Judgment is what keeps us locked into the energy. When you judge something, when you look at the stories of your life and you say, that was traumatic, that was a pain, that was horrible, that was wretched. When you judge, you stay anchored in that energy. For you to transcend that energy, you've got to release judgment. That means you've got to walk your own race. It means you've got to listen with the ear of the Spirit. You've got to comply and obey with the nudgings and the promptings that you feel. And yeah, do your best to be your best. But when you let the team down, get up quickly. When you let yourself down, get back up. Dust yourself off. Try again. There is no judgment. The work here begins by releasing the judgment we heap upon other people. The real work is in releasing the judgment we heap upon ourselves. But don't start there. That's, don't start there. Start by looking at what you judge in your outer world. Your job, your boss, your friends, your family, your spouse, other people, the stories they tell and the stories of your life. And start taking the judgment off. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is. That's just what happened. And the feelings that fell out of that only fell out of that because there was a framework of judgment around that act or that emotion or that thing we went through. Now understand my heart, friend, like I just said. This is in no way, no way at all to cheapen what you have been through. What this is, is a leg up to the next level where the energy of that can't touch you anymore. This is a leg up, stand up on my shoulders and climb up to the next level where all of the judgment of the past, it can't touch you, it can't hurt you, it's released, it's gone. We don't do that anymore. It's not bad, it's just different. It's not good, it's just different. Allow, and as you allow, you make space for the divine. So often we don't get what it is that we desire because we're too busy meddling in the business of the divine. My name is Ben. His name is God. I need to do the things that are inside Ben's wheelhouse. And if I'm faithful, if I'm diligent in doing that, if I'm doing my best every day, if I'm falling, but I'm falling forwards, then I'm moving forwards. And if I just focus on that, that is the moment that the divine sweeps in and does all of the things that I could never have done, not on my own. And that's how manifesting a dream works. Friend, it's judgment that holds us in the energy of the past. It's judgment that holds us as captive to feelings that don't serve to move us forward. If you can take a step 
and love yourself. Be gentle with yourself, but begin to release yourself from the burden of all of these rules, all of this judgment. Just do your best to be your best. Do your best to listen out for the still small voice. Do your best to be a good human and let the chips fall where they may. That's the business of the divine. That's when God shows up. That's when the majesty of heaven becomes your portion. Now, I love you. I'm thankful for you. I hope that this has encouraged you and I hope that it will serve to move you forward. Be gentle with yourself, friend. Stop beating yourself up, hey? Share this with someone, would you? Make sure you're subscribed. Go check these out. You really want to put wings on this thing.